Imagine a colossal craft skimming just above the ocean's surface, propelled by four jet engines and disappearing below enemy radar. This is not science fiction, it is the resurgence of the Ekrana plan, and China has just unveiled what could be the most ambitious example in decades, the Bohai Sea Monster. Ekrana plans, officially known as wing and ground effect vehicles, exploit the cushion of compressed air between their wings and the water's surface. This ultra-low flying characteristic combines the speed of an aircraft with the sea-skimming stealth of a naval vessel. First explored by the Soviet Union during the Cold War, Ekrana plans promised rapid amphibious transport and missile strike capability. The legendary Caspian Sea Monster demonstrated the concept's potential. Yet after the Soviet collapse, most projects remained on the drawing board, until now. In early June 2025, images circulated on Chinese social media showing a large grey painted vehicle parked on the Bohai Sea coast. Analysts at Naval News confirmed its authenticity and noted design features unseen in previous Akrana plans. The designation, manufacturer and exact specifications remain undisclosed. Nevertheless, the visible four jet engines, distinctive T-tail, and short wingspan mark it as a new class of wing and ground effect craft, a testament to China's growing military technology ambition. The Bohai Sea Monster's hull resembles a traditional flying boat, yet the two vertical stabilizers and high-mounted T-tail hint at specialized ground effect aerodynamics. Its wingspan is comparatively compact, optimized for cushion efficiency rather than high altitude lift. Above the wing sit four jet engines with slightly flattened nozzles, angled downward to enhance the air cushion beneath the hull. Observers speculate a secondary intake mounted above each engine, an innovation intended to ingest high-pressure air needed during takeoff. The dark gray paint scheme suggests a military transport role. For the People's Liberation Army-Navy, this Ekrana plan could revolutionize amphibious operations by delivering troops and armored vehicles at high speed, far beyond the reach of conventional hovercraft. Unlike traditional ships, an Ekrana plan can cruise at speeds exceeding 300 km per hour while remaining below radar detection range, offering a new dimension in littoral warfare and rapid crisis response. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union invested heavily in wing and ground effect research. The KM-type Caspian Sea monster made headlines for its gargantuan size. After the Soviet breakup, funding dried up, and most Ekranoplan projects stalled. In the 21st century, nations such as the United States, the United Kingdom explored smaller prototypes, but none progressed to full-scale deployment until China's Bohai Sea project. China's aerospace industry has rapidly expanded in recent years, producing advanced fighters like the Chengdu J-20 and large flying boats such as the AVIC AG-600. The Bohai Sea Monster sits alongside these developments as a dual-use platform. While the AG-600 focuses on search and rescue and firefighting, the new Ekrana plan may serve as an assault transport or uncrewed cargo drone, capable of resupplying island garrisons and supporting humanitarian missions. One leading theory is that the Bohai Sea Monster will function as a rapid resupply vessel. In a contested island scenario, conventional ships and aircraft face anti-access area denial threats. An Ekrana plan can approach at ultra-low altitude, drop off supplies or personnel, and retreat before enemy air defenses react. Moreover, its ability to operate from water without runways expands basing options, enhancing China's expeditionary logistics and power projection in the South China Sea and beyond. Despite its promise, wing and ground effect technology poses engineering hurdles. Maintaining stable ground effect flight in rough seas demands advanced flight control systems. The four-engine layout must balance thrust and lift precisely. China's engineers likely incorporated digital fly-by-wire controls and real-time wave height sensors. If successful, these systems could pave the way for even larger Ekrana plans, or unmanned versions, optimized for cargo missions. The Bohai Sea Monster's emergence reflects a wider trend in military technology.
hybrid platforms that blur traditional domain boundaries. As hypersonic weapons and unmanned surface vessels capture headlines, Akranoplans offer a unique solution for stealthy, high-speed maritime transport. Defense analysts will watch closely to see whether this project moves beyond prototype testing into operational service, potentially prompting other nations to renew interest in wing and ground effect vehicles. China's new jet-powered Akranoplan rekindles the Cold War dream of ground effect maritime mobility. If the Bohai Sea Monster fulfills its promise, it could reshape amphibious warfare and rapid response operations. Whether it becomes a standard tool in the People's Liberation Army Navy's arsenal or remains an experimental marvel, one fact is clear. The era of large, ultra-low-flying craft has entered a bold new chapter. If you found this deep dive into China's latest military innovation insightful, please like this video, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe for more analysis on emerging defense technology and maritime security trends.